frankincense. Myrrh. So I'm going to be making a frankincense and myrrh extract essential oil. First, I'm going to grind the frankincense into a very fine powdery grain. And this is going to take some time, but um, you can freeze your frankincense resin beforehand because working with frankincense does get a little bit sticky so if you freeze it before you uh, grind it it will help to make it less sticky so this does take a while so you might want to listen to a podcast or watch a movie or something and it does help during the process um, to keep strain in it so I'm just gonna strain it off and get the nice grinded portion put the rest back in and start grinding again So when you're finished grinding, um, it will look something like this. That's a nice fine consistency, um, a little goldeny, creamy color. So and I have um, just about 80 ml, and I'm gonna set that aside, and I'm gonna do the same thing with my myrrh. Now I have some myrrh in here, and I'm gonna grind that up. As well, and everyone has their favorite kind of motor pestle, but um, I really like uh, using the wooden one for me, it just gives me a more speedier grinding and really just breaks everything down. So, I really like the wooden one, but everyone has their preferences. Some people like stainless steel, some people like um, copper. Some people like soapstone, some people like granite, you know, whatever works for you. So I ended up switching back to my porcelain motor pestle because um, it just wasn't working out for me in the wood one. <laughs> um, my myrrh resin had super big chunks. And it was just giving me a fine time to to grind so I switch back and it's coming we're getting there just a beautiful earthy sandy tone so have my frankincense and my myrrh finely grounded together my frankincense and myrrh was about three ounces and I'm gonna add that to my mason jar And I'm going to add about two to three parts of the carrier oil. And you can use whatever carrier oil you like. Olive oil is good. Grapeseed oil. Um, I think olive oil is probably best working with frankincense. But um, I'm going to use almond oil. So I'm going to pour about two to three parts in the mason jar with the frankincense and myrrh. Mix that up a little. And so I'm just going to add that to 
my hot water bath and that's just um, I have a pot on the stove with some water in it have my mason jar with my frankincense and myrrh and I'm gonna heat that up on low and allow that to just macerate and extract into the almond oil and I'm gonna let that macerate for about 45 minutes to three hours closer to three hours is what's recommended and also depending on the type of frankincense you use um, frankincense feriana has little to no water soluble gum so it dissolves into the oils um, within minutes of the bath reaching boiling temperature so that would go pretty fast but I have frankincense and myrrh in here and um, it's also recommended that you not let the temperature reach over a hundred degrees so I'm gonna let that continue to extract for a couple hours stirring occasionally and then I'll be back I should also mention uh, that you know if you don't want your mason jar to you know heat up too fast because some people have had experiences where if it heats up too fast you know you can crack your jar or whatnot and um, if you're uncomfortable with just putting your jar in the directly in the pot what I do is um, if you can see I have I don't know what it's called but I have like a, a metal ring um, kind of looks like this something like that so I have a smaller one that I just place in the bottom of my pot and then I just put my mason jar on there just to help protect it from too much heat from cracking or anything like that so it's been about uh, two and a half hours and um, I turned off the stove and I let everything cool down um, still a little warm and I'm just going to take it out of the pot and you can let this sit for another day or two and let all the sediment just fall to the bottom and then you can pour off your essential oil and um, what I'm gonna do though I'm going to actually filter it because I want a nice clean um, pure oil and I'm just gonna be using a coffee filter that I bought coffee filter and I just covered it over this jar with an elastic and I'm gonna pour this in and allow this to strain so I can get a nice clean pure oil and I'll be getting quite a bit amount of oil so I won't be using all of it in the lotion that I'm gonna make but um, I'm gonna bottle it so that I'll use some for the lotion and then I'll have more left over for other things and the sediment that's going to be left over in the bottom I'm going to use it to make my scrub so nothing wasted everything getting used here so to speed up the process you might want to get a couple of these and um, you know, pour it because it is going to take some time to filter through. Try to define them, how about this is the finest? 
One of my jars has already finished filtering with my essential oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in this cute little bottle that I have. And this, I'm using this tiny little funnel that fits perfectly inside for small bottles. And I think I'm, I'm, I have some of these in the shop. So the funnel makes it super easy to pour into smaller glasses. And oh wow, this jar pretty much filled up this bottle, I believe. I'm not sure, maybe this is about 30 milliliters. Maybe I shouldn't have filled it all the way. So I'll take some off. And I have a nice, beautiful extract of frankincense and myrrh for my lotion.